welcome everyone to activate eSIM. If you have not set up the phone yet, head over to this connect to mobile network screen. If you've already activated the phone, the first step is you're going to need to open up the settings. And inside of the settings, I want you to select connections. Then you should see here SIM manager. And then you should see here as eSIM. So we'll give this a couple of seconds. Now we should have the same options regardless if you are in the setup screen or not. So transfer SIM from another device. This can convert a physical SIM from your old phone into eSIM for your new phone, but not all SIM cards and not all phones support this. Scan QR code is you scanning an eSIM QR code. Search for eSIMs. If you got this phone on a carrier plan and they pre-installed an eSIM, just tap on search and it will find. Uh, if you haven't done that, or the phone is you know, from Samsung's website, then no eSIMs will be found. So to cover transferring SIM from another device, if I tap on this one and then OK, you're going to notice I'm not seeing any service providers. That's because only three countries support this feature. But in the future, if your country is supported, you would see your carriers. You'd select your carrier and then you'd follow the on-screen instructions to get that SIM transferred over. Scan QR code. This will work in all countries. So you will need the QR code for your eSIM. So I got a sample QR code here. You would get this via email. So you may need to use your computer and just place your phone in the frame of the computer or physical card with the eSIM. So you will just place the camera in the frame and then wait for the activation. In this case, that was a sample eSIM. That's why it didn't work. Otherwise, you'll be good to go. If you are not from the United States, uh, I would recommend you just use a physical SIM card. Outside of the US, there is little to no support from carriers in relation to eSIM. And it may take years before that changes. Even transferring SIM from another device has little to no support, even on iPhones, which introduced that feature last year. So I would recommend you insert the SIM card if you can. But if eSIM is easily available, then this is what you use. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.